one interesting uh, episode that's pretty memorable was uh, around 2011. Um, I got up at I get up around say quarter to uh, six or five thirty or so. Um, the routine is generally uh, check all the data, go through all the uh, the information, and uh, have a quick chat with the people, and then um, call the office and give them an update. This particular location, I was about 10 miles offshore on the Pacific side in Peru, uh, 300 feet of water. But uh, I turned on the news in my office, and CNN was uh, showing a lot of cars being pushed away in the parking lot. And I go, wow, this is a pretty sophisticated sci-fi movie. I wonder what that is. And then as I watched, I go, wait a minute. These are not sci-fi. These are real effects. Then all of a sudden, <clears throat> I read the bottom. Uh, tsunami in uh, Fukushima in Japan. I go, oh boy. So then um, the, the, the brain really kicks into high gear because you know it's going to affect you because the tsunami is a big, big thing in, 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 uh, in the Pacific. Uh, right away, I, you know, on the internet, I typed in CNN uh, tsunami path prediction, and they, they, they had it all up already. And you can see the path where they predict uh, from Fukushima, the, the big wave is, is going to hit uh, Hawaii, and then it'll branch off into other areas. So we were very fortunate. Right away, the brain kicks in and says, where am I in relation to this whole thing, and how am I going to be impacted? Because you don't know at the time. And um, we were behind the Galapagos Islands, so I knew I had two barriers. And I thought, okay, time, how much time do I have? I knew I had a minimum of 12 hours, uh, but it turns out we had a little bit more time than that. So right away, these, these all happened within minutes. Uh, <clears throat> I called our, our, um, our team together because we we're still in a normal operation mode. Then my job, our job, is to secure the location, secure the men, and then evacuate. Uh, this is all uh, happening in real time. As you're thinking, you're talking to people, you're calling the meeting, you're calling people together. So because I've been with that particular group for about three years, we knew each other quite well. We, they, they trust me and I trust them. So I called a meeting with the captain, the, the management and all that stuff. And we came to a decision. And it was the formalities were really, really quick. We, we just went to the essentials, this is what we need, we all agreed, and here's what we're going to do. Boom. Everybody went and did their job. And so by 9 o'clock, we were on our way to be prepared. And then um, we notified the, um, uh, the, the authorities, the office, the government and all that stuff. By 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, the government of South America gave the, uh, the uh, order to evacuate off the low grounds on the west coast. Uh, by then, I think uh, towards the middle of the day, Hawaii had about six or seven feet waves. Uh, and I thought, okay, if they got six, seven feet, and then California was about five or six, I thought, if they're five, six, we won't be more than that. And so by um, late in the afternoon, we were all evacuated. All, we were long, long away. Uh, our, um, they call them the chalecos, the, uh, the, the safety jackets. And we all had our um, emergency evac uh, uh, station ready. So if anything happens, we were ready for it. So waited till about 7.45 that night. Uh, that's when the, the crest was due to hit us. We were okay. Nothing much happened. So very thankful. Uh, but the western coast of South America had about four feet of, um, of waves and it damaged some of the, the low-lying roads. And that was it. And uh, a day later, we were back to normal. And um, uh, it, it worked. We were secure. We were very fortunate nothing serious happened. But because we were a team, we trusted each other. We got things done without a whole bunch of um, uh, discussion. We just got to the essentials, what needs to be done. And that was it. So that saved our bacon, I think. Trust is a big thing. When you have a team that you trust each other, that is crucial because they know you cover them if things don't go right. And I do. Uh, the way I like to work is, when you work with new people, um, you have to give them some slack. They might make their mistakes. You look at it and you evaluate it. My first job in the office uh, in 1996, my first mistake costed this company a lot of money. Uh, but my manager was 
He was a well-experienced, seasoned uh, global manager. And he says, well, we can't afford to fire you now because you're the only one that will never do this mistake again. Um, so I never, never forgot that lesson. Um, so you have to be, uh, you have to work with the people and they have to trust you. You have to be forgiving and yet demand uh, or be, be accountable. You want results, but you want to have slack with it that people can trust you for that. And I think this is what we need a lot more in our city um, management.